made the decision at 12 years old that I was going to play Major League Baseball. And I set my mind to it then. It's something that has been a journey and a chapter in my life that has been amazing. In the minors, you can kind of get away with a few more pitches than you do up here in the big leagues. And I think that was probably the biggest learning curve was just being more consistent with my pitches and uh, making less mistakes. I had some flaws in my delivery and we made the decision to speed up a little bit uh, and get my tempo going. He was warming up prior to a game and he was kind of all over the place. I thought he was feeling for a lot of things. And I just said, hey man, just you know what? Just go out there and turn it loose. Trust your stuff and see what happens. That little conversation turned into a grunt that's pretty much stayed with him since then and it's worked out well for him. I was just playing catch one day and I just started grunting and I looked back and did some research on it. And actually, it, there's a little uh, science behind it where you tighten the diaphragm and release all that air out of your body. It keeps your body in line and now it's kind of subconscious, so I don't even notice it. He started doing things with his delivery that he wasn't able to do before with nice rhythm and tempo. And it's kind of all come together for him. The key to this game is consistency, obviously. I think he deals with that head on. If he has a rough game, uh, he's right back at it. I think it's just going through the process, knowing that adversity is going to come, and it's just about overcoming it and staying with your routine, not changing things when they don't need to be changed. When I release the ball out of my hand, it's out of my control. It was a fastball, it was supposed to be down and away. It, it kind of ran, actually cut back towards the middle of the plate. So it wasn't necessarily where I wanted it to, but it was low. So I, I thought that, you know, I could get away with it, but I didn't. Watch oh, out. No. That was measured at 108 miles per hour. Per hour. It was loud, it was loud off the bat, it was loud when it hit him. It's a scary moment in this game, you know? I mean, balls are thrown hard and they're hit hard, and uh, it's all about reaction. He's the closest one to the bat. I was obviously concerned, but you know, talking to him out there on the mound, I feel a little bit more at ease. Number one, that he was alert, and number two, that we're gonna get him to the hospital as soon as we could. Having a concussion, the biggest thing I think was the world was just moving a little faster than I was. Uh, I was moving pretty slow, but that was only for a couple days, and then I, I regained my balance and uh, was able to do athletic activity again. Left-handed strikeout artist Robbie Ray comes back from a very scary moment last month. It was nice to get back out there and be in a game again. And just to be able to, to get the win my first game back and be able to put up zeros for my team, it, it was great. Robbie Ray strikes out the side his first inning back from the disabled list. He's very uh, focused. Uh, he's very determined. Uh, he wants to be great. He doesn't want to be good. He wants to be great and I think there's a big difference there. The Diamondbacks have the right guy on the mound to beat the Dodgers tonight, Robbie Ray. Swing and a miss, got him on another curveball. Good start for Robbie. Got him! One to the curveball, two strikeouts, and a one, two, three, first for Robbie Ray. Really, I'm looking at overall team success, how many games you know we can win as a team. Uh, not really concerned with uh, personal stats, but you know that's great with getting the win. But ultimately, regardless of if I get the win or not, it's a good day. The Diamondbacks clinch a series win over the Dodgers. They have won six in a row, eight of their last nine.